Hello there. You know, before we start, I just want to say, um, I just want to show this. This is the debut of this windshield, this uh, microphone windshield. You know, I get really lovely comments uh, on my videos. Some people have even gone as far as claiming to be a genius. And to those people, I say, I really, really appreciate that. But I've had this microphone for six years, and it's only taken me until now to get a windshield. Anyway, yeah, I want to talk to you about easily probably my favorite fragrance. I don't think it's my, well, yeah, I think it could actually be my favorite fragrance of the year. Definitely my favorite niche fragrance of the year, there's no doubt about that. I've smelt some pretty decent designers this year, actually. So there's that to consider. But in the realm of niche fragrances, this is, this has been pretty untouchable. You know, for the 15 minutes that I was setting up the shop, nobody came down here. Nobody. Not one person. Not a single soul. Somebody must have been informed that the fragrance apprentice was shooting. They all probably just want autographs and they're just way too shy to, uh, to ask. I want to make a point here, and that is, you know, I, um, the way that I've titled this video is, oh, it's the best niche that I've smelt this year. Um, because of that, YouTube will not be kind to this video algorithm-wise. Only a select few will probably actually see this video. And to you, the select few, I say, you know what? I don't want too many people knowing about this fragrance, if I'm honest with you. Monoasis by Motif Olfactif. I've got the box here as well. This is absolutely fucking brilliant. And I'm gonna kinda go into why um, with my usual format, and that is, uh, would you like this? So, if you like the note of lavender, and I've been smelling this uh, as I was preparing to record. <laughs> lavender is um, on its own in its sort of objective state, is actually quite tame and you know very airy quite classically aromatic um if at one point if a fragrance was of the aromatic genre you'd it, it would be a guarantee that lavender would be in there somewhere this was the sort of the forefather of uh, aromatic uh, notes if you will so you're walking through a gigantic garden and the centerpiece of the garden is this huge like field almost of lavender and around it are things like patchouli a bit of gardenia that gives it that really sort of floral smell and there's some spices maybe there's some cumin even a little bit of turmeric so you've got this immense beautiful beautifully kept garden with spices with florals and the centerpiece is most definitely lavender and that is what monoasis is it is saturated with beautiful florals and there are also some cooking spices in here. The texture is so syrupy, um, really quite thick, like I said, quite oversaturated in a way, but I absolutely love it. So would you like this? If that picture that I've just painted to you sounds interesting, then this is something that you've got to go for. Another thing is if you like florals, and you've wanted to see florals interact with lavender, then this would be for you. Oh, here we go. This gentleman's got two beagles. Two for the price of one. Hello. Oh, you are such a good boy. Oh my God, he is so beautiful. Oh, is it a she? He's a he. Oh, he's so beautiful. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. I love beagles. They're just the best. Beagles and corgis. Do you love me some corgis as well? Um, sorry, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I'm doing a fragrance review. So, um, yeah, so that's Would You Like This? 
presentation is immaculate, it's absolutely great. They had older bottles, did uh, motif olfactive. They um, now transitioned to these now more glorious, um, wonderful bottles. I think that this stole the show in the top 10 summer video when it came to cutaways. I think that was most proudest of the cutaways that I got of this bottle. Um, absolutely staggering and stunning and I'm sure that I'll maybe get uh, similar cutaways today. But yeah, I've been in awe of the presentation. Um, it's a 50 mil. And that's the only size going. You don't need 100 mil of this. Nobody needs 100 mil of this. They're so, so strong. Um, some of them aren't as strong, actually, but this one is, yeah. A 50 mil will get you very, very far. I love this bottle design. I think it's wonderful, and I think that the color of the juice really um, goes in line with the color of the base and of the cap. I'm get, giving this a five out of five. Scent, well, you, you know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is, this is what I've been waiting for, you know, this is what I want out of a fragrance, a fragrance that tells a story that is so vivid that, you know, the oil concentration is high, um, everybody can smell it on you, it's beautiful and balsamic and full and rich, well constructed complex but not overly complicated fragrance it's got its subtleties in there it is a beautiful stunning garden wrapped around a very very sophisticated lavender note like i said you can go too far with lavender you can go too weak on lavender like you go too strong you can get something like uh au noir which i don't like uh, you go too weak you see a fragrance that has lavender listed you can't even smell it in there this is the perfect way of using lavender and using it as sort of a domino effect for all of the other accords and all of the other notes within the fragrance. This is high, high tier perfumery. This is levels of perfumery that every perfumier should aspire to. And that is pretty high praise, but I smell a lot of fragrances these days where I'm thinking they had no vision, they have no talent, they don't know what they're doing, they don't have a clear understanding of how notes work together, of the balance of blending. Blending's like a lost art at this point. Blending sort of like, I don't know where that went, but this has all of that. This is a true masterclass on how you get a note, you get a hero note, and you build tons of wonderful notes that are going to work and engage and sometimes supersede, sometimes go under, but usually complement the main note around them. It's absolutely staggering how this is done. I would love to know. I would love to see. I'd love to go and visit Mr. Oz and, and see how he has put this fragrance together. I would be absolutely enthralled to see that. So for uh, as scent goes, this is the highest level of perfumery I, I've i smelled in a long, long time. It deserves a six out of five. Performance overall is easily um, a five out of five, but it's not beast mode. It's not like absolutely over the top, but what this does do is that it's the consistency. You put this on, you're gonna have it on until the next morning longevity wise, and the projection is not beast mode, but it's so strong and it's so consistent. I'd say that it's, you know, it's definitely within your space. It could fill up probably half a room, not a full room or anything like that. Um, you know, people can stand away from you and they'll, they, they won't get it. So that's not intrusive, but it's like that forever, right? It's the consistent, like half a room filling in your space projection for hours upon hours upon hours. Yeah, five out of five. Price point is fine. Um, it's about 135, 140 quid, something like that. It has fluctuated recently, but yeah, it's below 200. You can get it below 150 sometimes, pounds that is. Um, it's below 200, it's below 175. I'd be willing to pay 175 pounds for this. I really would. I mean, if Navitus is selling their freaking fragrances for 200 and 250 uh, pounds and they think that that's actually like a genuine value of what those fragrances should be then this is an absolute steal this is you are absolutely stealing this um, it's a very very reasonably priced fragrance for the quality which is enormous the performance which is great and for 50 mil 
yeah, it's absolutely fine. Overall, look, if you're a beginner, if you're a designer freak, this isn't gonna work. But if you're a niche lover, if you see this, if you see this hobby as an art form, as a form of expression, if you put it in the same ranks as music, as a book, as a film, um, which you should, I would always encourage you to do that, this is worth it. This is a masterclass. Of course, you can buy the Discovery set um, from the T Fold Factif website. Check out all their work. Not all of their work is for me. This has been the strongest contender so far. Um, I'm getting their two new fragrances because I've sampled them. They're great. Um, and I think that Mr. Oz is going, um, it's just building momentum with his brand. And he's doing really, really well. And he deserves um, the attention that he's getting. And much, much more as well. I should have just like been Jeremy and just jumped them. I said, what do you think of this, guys? What does your dog think of this? But uh, maybe another time. Anyway, Monoasis is getting a six out of five overall, an absolute blistering tour de force of fragrant display. As I said, not many people are gonna click on this video. I don't want them to. I kinda want this to be my little secret, or hey, this can be our little secret. I'm the Fragrance Press. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, and if you want to give more, you can also donate to my PayPal, which will continue the awesome videos on this channel. Thanks very much. Bye. Thank you.